In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert multiple photos into one PDF file on your mobile. So this is going to work for Android or iPhone. So what we want to do, we want to go ahead and go to the Play Store. And you want to do a search for image to PDF. That will bring up these results here. And we're going to download PDF Converter, Image to PDF, JPEG to PDF Editor. So go ahead and download this one. It's by Simple Tools Apps. You can see it's got 500,000 downloads and it's rated 4.6 stars. So we can go ahead and download that. And once you've got it downloaded, just go ahead and open up the app. Now it's going to try and give you an option. I'll just close out of that, clicking the X in the top left hand corner. And now we want to allow PDF Converter to access photos. So click allow here. And we can now start to add photos to a PDF here. So if you click on the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner, then click allow. It's going to load up your images here, which I am going to blur out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on all images and I've just clicked on screenshots now. And what we can do is we can choose some screenshots. So I'm just going to choose these four screenshots here. We're going to add them to the PDF. We're then going to click on import and we can give it a document title. I'm just going to leave it as that for the video. I'm also going to select high image quality. To get maximum, you need to be pro, but high is good enough. Then we can click convert. Now we're going to get an advertisement. So let me just wait here until it's all finished. OK, so after exiting out of those ads, we've now got that file created. And it tells you that it's stored that file on storage emulated PDF files. So we can now go done. So now what we'll do, we'll go ahead and open that file by clicking on it. And here you can see here is that PDF. We've got four different images inside that one PDF file. And you can go ahead and share this to whoever, or you can just go to the file location and simply download it and do whatever you need to with it. So if that helped you out, please do leave a like and comment down below.